Welcome to uCritic.com Video Reviews. I'm Tyler from the uCritic team, here to bring you a review on the NeuroSky Mindwave Brainwave Sensor. Like a lot of us children of the 1980s, I grew up watching science fiction like Star Trek and Star Wars and lots of other media that dreamt of hyper-technological futures. With the invent of the NeuroSky Mindwave, it would appear that the beginning of that future is finally upon us. Now, first things first, the Mindwave is a headset which has a sensor that rests on your forehead and another that clips on your earlobe to monitor your brain activity and brainwave signals, particularly as those signals pertain to the amount of attention that you're giving to a set of problems. The sets of problems come in the form of 10 apps which come with the headset, and the apps are basically video games. There are math games, ball levitation games, and more that are packaged with the set, but perhaps the most exciting application of the NeuroSky Mindwave Brainwave Sensor are apps that can be purchased separately, of course, at a higher price. As you can see on our review here at uCritic, one Mindwave user was quoted as saying they use it to fly a remote helicopter. Pretty amazing. But it gets even better than that. It can be used as a music controller based on your mood, or, in the case of the Brain Athlete app, it can be used to track attention during the course of a workout or practice session. For example, it can track a golfer's level of concentration during each part of his or her swing, allowing bad habits to be corrected later. As well, there are medical research applications for the Mindwave, including the study of ADHD, post-traumatic stress disorder, Alzheimer's disease, brain injury, and more. At the end of the day, this is a technology that is only scraping the surface of its potential, and I'm not exactly sure how they've pulled it off, but the Mindwave can be had for only $99.95, which seems like a steal. You don't really have to concentrate that hard to get a NeuroSky Mindwave either. You just need a credit card. That is, unless your familiarity with science fiction has turned you off of headsets. For uCritic.com, I'm Tyler Rowe.